Hi there, my name is Julian Wood. Uh, welcome to VMworld 2014. A hugely exciting time this week and a huge amount going on. Um, yeah, I'm an IT infrastructure architect and a blogger at woodITwork.com and today I want to have a bit of a chat about how software, the software defined data center and what it means uh, for policy. Thanks to the VBrown uh, bag guys for uh, putting this on. Uh, it's an awesome initiative to have here at VMworld, so we're um, glad you're watching online. R videos are going to be recorded to watch later, and you're more than welcome to submit your own talks, um, which they'd hugely appreciate having all this extra content uh, as part of VMworld. So, back onto policy. Policy in the software defined data center are really two things that are very closely linked together. But I don't feel that the message of policy and the software-defined data center is really being understood by many people. Um, and maybe that's an explanation thing which we can go into. So what actually is policy? Well, first of all, policy is actually about business rules and processes. These are things that your business says are important that you need to code in IT. Things like, well, users need to change their passwords. Developers have access to certain systems and not others. Some critical services need to be protected if your business has a DR issue. Web servers need to be ultra secure so you don't have clear passwords going over the internet. Um, there may be licensing considerations for things like Oracle. You may have uh, latency issues that you need to ensure for your super duper money generating financial trading app that you only need uh, less than a certain amount of latency. You may have a credit card database that needs to be highly protected. Now, if you notice all these things, they're actually business rules that you define. There's no talk about implementation or how they're actually going to do. And that's the difference um, with policy and automation. That policy, the difference between the what and the how of things is done. The what is the policy, that is your business requirement, the kind of things that your business says uh, is important for your IT. And the how is actually how that is implemented. And that's one of the distinctions with policy in the software defined data center rather than just uh, automation. So, uh, funny enough, an example to um, go into the Windows world is uh, GPOs. Been around for many years since Windows 2000. And GPOs is actually one of the uh, really important bits of Microsoft technology that enterprises use Active Directory uh, in such a huge way is because of GPOs. They're applied where they're needed, uh, they're inherited, portable, and they, you're able to ensure that your uh, things are done in compliance. So, look uh, back on the previous slide when we talked about all the examples, for instance, password changes. You don't have to go to everybody's individual user accounts and go and change their password. You set a policy once, you make sure that your user accounts are in a particular OU that inherits that policy, off you go. You are 100% sure that that policy is being applied to all your users. You don't go out and set that setting on a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand user accounts. You set the policy and the policy does the implementation for you. So, back to a virtual environment, you actually, in a way, already have virtual policies. You've got resource groups. Resource groups is a policy that you've decided to say, well, production servers need more oomph than uh, test servers, uh, which need more oomph than potentially workstations. Anti-affinity rules are also a way of policy. You have two web servers, and you say, I want to ensure that they're running on different uh, hosts, maybe in different uh, blade uh, chassis or different racks. That's in a way, a type of policy. Anti-affinity rules, <coughs> the reverse affinity rules, are often used for licensing. You want SQL boxes, Oracle boxes, all squashed together on one host so you can um, manage your licensing. These are things you do today already with policy. <coughs> so, policy to the software-defined data center. My thinking is, and kind of the message I'm trying to um, relay, is that policy is an extension to the software-defined data center. And the way VMware likes to see the SDDC is policy is entirely integrated. Policy is not just about automation, but it's built into the provisioning and built into the compliance process. For example, as we were talking about the AD kind of things, when you've got to go and you can run a script across a thousand VMs uh, to put it onto, on a particular storage or to check something. Policy, you wouldn't deploy a VM to a data store, you'd deploy a VM against a policy, and the policy would ensure all those settings are done. Things like security, there are things you can do to a VMX file to make a VM more secure, but you've got to run a script that'll go and connect to a thousand different VMs and write that um, and, and make that settings change. With policy, <coughs> you set it once and off you go and those VMs are automatically aligned to that policy. If you change the policy, a thousand VMs change, 
you want to make sure that that's there, you just go and check the policy. You don't have to go and write a script to read a thousand VMs to check that setting is there. And that's a sort of slight distinction <coughs> I, I want to get to. Other kinds of things that are VTAN and VVOLs are 100% built on the idea of policy. The storage arrays advertise the capabilities. You build the policy based on those capabilities. And you don't actually deploy a VM to a data store. No, you deploy a VM to a policy. And then the, the storage array behind the scenes goes out and enacts that policy to make sure it's there. So things like encryption, <coughs> replication, um, IOPS, and performance things. Um, for instance, replication for VVOLs. If you've got a storage container that can replicate, you <coughs> bubble up that policy um, to your VVOL uh, system, and then you deploy a VM, you add the tag for, um, for replication, and off the array will go and replicate that. You don't actually go and put a VM on a replicated, uh, an array that you pre, sorry, a data store that you pre know is going to be replicated. That's not how it actually works. You add replication onto the policy for that VM, and the VM then gets placed in a way wherever on the storage array to make sure it is replicated. And announced this morning, uh, Evo Rail, there are certain big policy things in Evo Rail. One of them is security policies, <coughs> that when you deploy a VM in a very quick way, it has a few different security policies, which goes and edits the VMX file to make that, uh, that kind of uh, security settings. And that's done, in a way, in a policy. <coughs> but what we really actually want is a policy package for everything. And this is where the true benefit of the software-defined data center is going to be. You've got storage, networking, and then compute, all important things. But you don't want to have to decide manually on which storage data store you want to put it, onto which network do you want to place your VM, and to what compute cluster. You want all of this defined in policy that you can add as a tag, for instance, on a VM, or you can add it some other way, <coughs> be it folders or something, in your virtual center. So you can drag a VM into something into a folder or you can add a tag and automatically <coughs> that VM gets either placed on a network, placed on a host, or placed on some kind of storage, all in policy. So you're not managing the infrastructure parts separately, you're doing things for policy. <coughs> and on the right hand side you can see some of those policy things, affinity rules, encryption, licensing, backups, all these kinds of things. To have them all encoded in policy makes it hugely, hugely beneficial for your virtualization environments. You have auditors coming in and want to check things. <coughs> they don't need to go and run reports on where all your VMs and are sitting on hosts and data stores and networks. They can just check the policy and you know things how, how things are happening. Policy is hugely important for change as well. If you want to go and change a network, you just go and update your policy and all your VMs automatically go and move onto another network. So hopefully I've been able to chat to you a bit about policy. <coughs> We've only had a few minutes. Um, I'm sure the, the message of the software-defined data center in VMware is going to extend very much in the future, and policy is going to be at the heart of it. Thank you very much.